Hey everyone, welcome back. All right, so using point slope formulas, we've discussed how you can make an equation if you know where the line crosses the y-axis and you know uh, the slope of the line. Very easy. But what if I have only a point, any point, not just where it crosses the y-axis, but any point? Well, let's check it out. If I gave you a point and I gave you the slope, it would be pretty easy to graph. Notice, here is point 1, 3, which is right here. And then I know the slope is 3. Slope is easy and fun. Just remember, rise over run. So th rise 3, run 1. Up 3, over 1. Up 3, over 1. And I get my next point. I have my graph. So if I give you a point and I give you the slope, it's pretty easy to graph. However, what if you had the graph? Could you figure out the equation of the line? Hmm. Well, first of all, let's practice just graphing a couple of times. Here we are. What's my starting point? Negative 2, negative 1. Well, what's my slope? Down 3, over 4. Two points, line. Pretty easy, right? Okay, here we go again. What's my starting point? Negative 4, 2. Slope 0. Zero slope, perfectly flat. Pretty easy. All right, so what if we wanted to go backwards? Of course we can. It's called the point slope formula because remember, we gave you a point and we gave you the slope. The other one was called slope y intercept because we gave you the slope and we gave you the y intercept. This math stuff is really difficult. All right, so here's an equation for you. There's the slope formula. So how do I figure out the point slope formula? Well, actually, I get it from the slope formula. I'm not expecting you to remember this, but I wanted you to see where it comes from. If you remember your algebra, you remember that I can multiply both sides by the exact same number. And what happens here is I get a fancy form of 1. So those eliminate, and all I'm left with is this. Now, I am going to reverse this. And I have m times x2 minus x1. Not bad. I reverse them. Notice the y's come over here, and everything else goes over here. And now I've got, oh, my formula almost complete. All I have to do now is realize that it's not the points formula. It's the point slope formula. So I'm not going to have a second point for y2 and a second point for x2. So I just rewrite it. And that is your point slope, point slope formula. Let's see how we can use it. To solve it, all we have to do is plug in the point and plug in the slope, and we can get the equation. How's that work? Well, think about it. Slope is going to be negative 2, and here's our point. Since there's only one x, we have an x1 and a y1, which we can plug in. Now we just need to solve for y. We do that by minus negative 4 is plus positive 4. Negative 2 times x will be negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 3 will be positive 6. All right, but what if I wanted in slope y-intercept form? Well, once again, I know the slope, and I know my x1 and y1. There is x1, and there is y1. So the x1 becomes 1. The y1 becomes 5. I solve for y by using the distributive property, negative 4x, and negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And then all I have to do is add 5 to both sides. And I have it in slope point intercept form. All right. You guys, try to write an equation in slope y-intercept form. Step one, pick a point to be x1, pick a point to be x or y1. So notice x1 goes here is 3, minus negative 3 becomes plus positive 3, and minus 1 becomes plus negative 1. Our slope is 1 third, and so there we go. When I use distributive property, I end up getting 1 third x plus 1, and then to get y by itself, I go plus 1 and plus 1. 
and I get my equation. What if I didn't give you the slope? Well, if I gave you two points, could you figure out the slope? Sure. The slope is 2. Now that you have a slope and you have two points, well, you have points to pick from. You can either pick point 2, negative 3, or point 4, 1. You get to pick. I pick point 4 and 1. So this will be x1, this will be y1. Notice where they drop in. x is 4, y1 is 1. Plus negative. Add 1, add 1. And let's see how you do on this one. Give it a try. See if you can give me an equation in slope-intercept form through these two points. Find the slope. 3. Pick any point you want. Notice my x1 will be negative 1. Minus negative 1 is plus positive 1 and minus 4 would be plus negative 4. I distribute 3 times x is 3x, three, 3 times 1 is 3, add 4, and we get our answer. Any questions? All right, um, let me know uh, if you got any questions on this, and everyone, you guys have a nice night.